made in God's image. Pope St. Leo the Great, circa 400 through 461, wrote many letters and orations in his efforts to unify the church, arguing for the authority of popes and also against heresies. He interceded on behalf of Rome with invaders, including Attila the Hun and the Vandals, to spare unnecessary harm to Rome and its citizens. In this sermon, St. Leo reminds us that we are made in God's image and so called to imitate God's loving deeds. When we comprehend faithfully and wisely the beginning of our creation, we shall find that we were made in God's image so that we might imitate our Creator. The Lord, foretelling this by the Holy Isaiah, says, I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown, I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them and make crooked ways straight. These things I do for them, and I will not forsake them. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 16. The Apostle John teaches us how this has been fulfilled when he says, We know that the Son of God has come and has given us discernment to know the one who is true. And we are in the one who is true in his Son, Jesus Christ. 1 John chapter 5 verse 20. And again, let us therefore love God because God first loved us. 1 John chapter 4 verse 19. Thus it is that God by loving us restores us to the divine image in order that we mirror God's goodness we are given what we need to do the work that God does. God inflames us with the fire of divine love that we may love not only God, but also whatever God loves. Lift up your praise to the Lord as God wishes us to be good because God is good. None of God's judgments ought to displease us. Our folly too often dares us to murmur against our Creator, not only in time of want, but also in time of plenty, so that when something is not supplied, we complain, and when certain things are in abundance, we are ungrateful. But nothing better befits and reassures the faithful and godly disciples of truth than the persistent and unwearied lifting of praise to God, as says the Apostle Paul. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16. But how shall we be partakers of this devotion so that the love directed toward God may not be puffed up in prosperity nor faint in adversity? Let the things that please God please us too. Let us rejoice in whatever measure of gifts God gives, let the one who has used great possessions well use small possessions well also. Plenty and scarcity may be equally for our good, and even in spiritual progress, we shall not be cast down 
at the smallness of the results. Therefore, dearly beloved, in all works of godliness, let us make use of what each year gives us, and let not seasons of difficulty hinder our Christian benevolence. For more stories, please visit our website, www.pamphletstoinspire.com.